like the video if you enjoyed. Alright guys, so in today's video, I'm going to bring you guys a little video on the Thunderlord that changes elements. So as we know, when the Taken King was released and watching through their trailers, uh, we noticed a different kind of Thunderlord. There was actually a Void and Solar Thunderlord. I will post a screenshot right now showing you, I believe it is the Void Thunderlord. And uh, I'm going to be bringing you guys some brief little uh, conspiracies of what I have, how to obtain this weapon because... Obviously, it's been over a month since Taken King was released, maybe two, I think it's been over two months actually, closer now, and no one knows how to obtain this weapon. So I've been on Reddit and uh, a couple other sources, and I've read up about some little theories, and I found some really interesting ones, and I don't know if anyone has tried these yet, or if this even works, but the first one is, so let's say you infuse, uh, let's say, let's take an exotic sword here, because there's a lot of swords out there now, and let's say you take a specific exotic sword, and uh, that was either Solar or Void because obviously the Thunderlord is Arc. Uh, would it be possible that when you infuse that Solar or Void sword into the Thunderlord, would the Thunderlord take that element of the sword? So if you had, an, let's say, a Void sword and you infused the Void into the uh, Thunderlord, uh, would the Thunderlord take on the Void element and replace it? And would it be replaced from Arc to Void? Uh, it's a really cool conspiracy right there I read up on. Uh, I was really astonished that uh, I don't think anyone has tried this. If you have, please let me know in the comments. Uh, it's really unique. I would never even thought of that. Um, uh, probably someone has tried it, and if it did, if it did work, we would have known by now. But if it didn't, you know, it probably doesn't work. If it does, if you guys want to go try it, let me know. Uh, another thing is having something like the heroic version of the raid, let's say like the challenge mode, uh, to give you weapons such as the Thunderlord. Uh, would be, it would be smart to have this because any other method, in my opinion, would be too easy and t uh, far too many people would have all these types of weapons, in uh, my opinion, because if you did like another quest line, the quest lines I feel like are really easy, especially for the steepest stimulant. It, it was a really easy quest line and uh, I believe it's it was not worth... It was it, it was overhyped, let's say that. The quest line is way too easy. But I believe that it could be within challenge mode. We'd be collecting certain little parts of it throughout it. Uh, as we know, War Priest didn't drop anything uh, unusual. Maybe Golgroth and the Dodgers and Oryx would maybe drop something unusual that you have to use over time to uh, maybe acquire this weapon. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this little two little theories I have. Um, on uh, how to obtain the Thunderlord. If you have any other little theories, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to read them. And uh, if you have tried the above so uh, theory I have already explained to you guys, let me know in the comments. I want to know if that works or not for you. But without further ado, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more Destiny content. And without further ado, guys, it's been Sporno and take care. My hometown, they already know now. They know now. They hold me down. They hold me down. Started from the bottom, baby. Look at me now. I do it for my.